this is a a 5.3 to 1 Morris Minor MG Midget style differential. The uh, crown wheel is in de-rusting at the moment. That was a 4.5 version. What I think I will do, rather than reusing my open diff, I think I'll get a, an ATB style LSD. I'll get one of the black line ones from Riley Design. They're relatively inexpensive. So I shall need to find out what bearings these ones use and uh, get a complete set of bearings and seals and shims. That's a fine job. Bearing clearance on this one looks like it's been made up with a very much like a, a homemade spacer and some shims to get the clearance. Rather than a collapsible spacer. all the, the bearings out of the, the housing. I've taken the inner bearing off the pinion, just steeping it in some evapor rust just to take some surface rust off the teeth. Just doing a, a trial fit of the differential into the case, but uh, these bolts on the back of the LSD are getting very, very close to the casting here. I'm going to put a, put a little marks. So I'm going to have to file a bit off the casing so I can move the the crown wheel crown wheel far enough that way. Because at the moment there's a lot of uh, backlash at, uh, as far as it will go across there. So yes, I need to file a bit off each side so it can move across. You can always machine the heads of the, the bolts down a bit, I suppose. It might give me the necessary clearance I require. I haven't got the shims and the, the bearings yet. I'm just uh, putting it in to see Roughly how many shims I need which side. That'd be what the tinkling noise was. I was last out of the car. It's just the dust shield had uh, come loose from the, the input of the differential. Not to worry because I'm changing that bit anyway.
Then I get both wheels spinning. <laughs>